Okay, so after completing the air dry prep, just gonna let the hair air dry till it's about 80% dry, usually takes about an hour or two. And uh, you're just gonna take a small section. And as you can see, I already did a Bantu knot on this section, so I, uh, it's a little bit wavy. But you wanna take a section about this size and just kinda smooth it with your fingers and finger comb it, making sure there are no kinda hair sticking out. Then you're just gonna start twisting to the left. Make sure that it's nice and tight at the base and that you're kind of creating a consistently twisted coil. Now securing the hair at the base, you're just going to wrap the coil around, making sure to lift the bun so that the coil can rest underneath the last one. Make sure to keep the coil consistently twisted so you don't have any loose sections. So again just lifting up the bun and wrapping the new coil underneath the last one. And the bun should be tight but it shouldn't be uncomfortable. So wrapping it around again and keep twisting all the way down the hair shaft. And make sure to twist all the way to the ends to create a nice even curl. And the bun should resemble a stack of tires. And just make sure to twist the ends and wrap them underneath the bun. If you find it a little bit difficult, you can always secure it with a bobby pin or an elastic, but I do find that this way it creates the most consistent curl. As you can see, again, it looks like a stack of tires with one coil underneath the last one. Okay, let's take another section. So just smooth it out of the way. It might help to pin up the hair. Again, start twisting to the left. Create a nice tight coil. And if you start, I say to start, you know, twisting from the left, but you can also twist from the right. Just make sure that you're always doing, when you start creating the bun, you're always wrapping the hair in the opposite direction. So I start twisting to the left, and as I start creating the bun, I'm, I'm, I'm actually wrapping to the right. So if you start twisting to the right, then start wrapping at the left. And if you get these sections, you know, if you find that the coil starts to loosen up, um, just make sure to take a second and twist it tightly so it's uh, nice and even. Again, just always making sure to wrap the coil underneath the, the last one. And twisting all the way down to the ends. And as you can see, again, we have a nice bun that looks like a stack of tires. And these will stay, they won't unravel, they won't, you can sleep in them, you don't have to worry about securing them with anything, they will stay all night. So I'm going to finish these up, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I finished up the knots and went to bed, and I'm about to take them out, but I just kind of wanted to show you what all the the Bantu knots look like uh, when they're all in the hair. And if you're going to wear these out, you're probably going to want to make some clean parts and sections just to make them a little bit more organized. But if you're going to just wear them overnight, you can kind of plop them in without having to comb or brush them and uh, reduce some unnecessary manipulation. So let's take down one of the knots and take a look at the curl. Just going to kind of unscrew them. It will fall out. As you can see, it creates kind of a very nice S curl. And we're just going to untwist it in the opposite direction. Get a closer look of the curl. Let's take down this one as well. I'm twisting it. It's nice and loose. There we go. And as you can see, it creates a nice perfect S curl. Just take down this one too. There we go. That was a lot easier the third time around. But you can see these nice, really springy, bouncy curls. You can wear it just like this with the individual curls. It'll be very bouncy. Or what I do is I just um, take my thumb, insert it right in between the curl, and uh, split it in half to create a little bit of a softer look. It adds a little bit of volume, a little bit of a additional uh, texture to the hair. So I just kind of break it apart. So you can wear them either way. And these curls are going to last all week. Um, they're going to loosen up a bit, but they're never going to fall flat. Um, so you can wear them for as long as you like. And if you find that one drops or doesn't look, you know, doesn't look right, you can always um, just take about a pea-sized amount of setting of setting lotion or wrap foam and just retwist the the curl. And within maybe 15 or 20 minutes, it'll come out looking perfect. So I'm going to finish this up and here is the look at this point before I've styled it but you can just kind of get a feel for what the curls look like after they've been unraveled and separated um, into two sections. And if you do this on wet hair, you just want to make sure that the curls, that the coils are completely dry before unraveling, or else you're going to get a little bit of frizz, um, and the curls will drop a lot sooner. So just make sure that if you're doing it on wet hair, that they're completely dry. But you can see the curl pattern here looks really, looks really nice. And this style will also resist humidity, um, rain, everything. It, pretty much uh, will stay in place all week. This is a good size, um, I used a good size knot, um, could be used on short hair, medium length hair, long hair, uh, if you can always make bigger knots, you can make smaller knots, whatever kind of works for you. Um, if you use bigger knots, the curl is going to be a little bit looser and uh, a little bit more of a wave. As you can see, the hair is really nice and soft, nice and bouncy, shiny, feels great. And you can kind of play with the curls, you can pull them up to the side, you can pull them up in sort of a half up, half down look, or put a headband on. Um, you can also pull them up in a ponytail or into a uh, updo by just pinning up the curls. 
for a romantic look or just letting it loose and playing with the parts but like I said the hair feels nice and soft and smooth and shiny and bouncy so here are just some pictures of the finished look There's one side pinned up pushed over to the side here's with the side part and sort of a distant uh, look from the distance and that's pretty much it hope this was helpful Thank you.